Hi, I'm Lorraine Goddard, CEO of United Way Windsor Essex. We know that there's more than 18% of our residents who are living in poverty today. And one in four children are affected by poverty and living in low income homes. And more than 42% of single moms deal with poverty each and every day and struggle to make ends meet. And in our community of Windsor, we have the highest concentration of poverty. In fact, it's highest in Canada. If you happen to be a resident in one of those low income neighborhoods, you're likely to live 20 years less than someone who's living in a more wealthy neighborhood in our community. Research tells us that 25% of the children who presently live in poverty will not escape intergenerational poverty because of lack of opportunities that are presented to them. We know that food bank usage is increasing and that you know, the greatest percentage of uh, people using food banks are the working poor and 38% of food bank users are children. We have a whole generation of children that are growing up believing that it's normal to be fed from a food bank. Families that are experiencing uh, poverty often experience higher levels of stress and anxiety which contribute to poor mental health. And people who have mental illness are more likely to live in poverty in our community. The United Way put out the cost of poverty report last uh, year and we estimated conservatively that it costs all of us $450 million annually to maintain poverty in our community. Those costs come from increased health care expenditures, policing, intergenerational poverty, and lost productivity. And all of us as taxpayers bear these costs. The United Way is not asking people to feel sorry for those living in poverty. It's about a shared sense of dignity. You know, sympathy doesn't go very far for people who deal with it every day. We're asking, what kind of community do we want to live in? What's important for all of us? It's a myth to believe that all of us can thrive when we're only concerned about our own well-being. United Way recognizes that poverty is a complex problem not easily solved, and we can't do it alone. However, by investing in key strategies such as income supports, affordable housing and supports, early childhood care, education, and employment, we can really start to create change for the vast majority in our community. United Way, over the next five years, is focused on investing in many of these strategies. We have two goals. The first goal is to reduce the impacts of poverty for people who are experiencing it each and every day. And the second goal is to reduce the number of people living in poverty in our community. United Way needs your help. We need everyone to invest. We need your time, your voice, and we need you to donate. By investing in these strategies, we can improve community conditions and make life better for seniors, children, working moms and dads, and many others across Windsor and Essex County. It's a myth to believe that people can just pull up their bootstraps and move themselves out of poverty, and I'm a perfect example. Not too many years ago, I was a single mom with three young children. I had a job, it was low paying, I was part of the working poor. And I can recall making some really difficult decisions when it came to paying for medication for my sick child or paying bills. But I was really fortunate. I was able to improve my condition by going back to school and bettering my education. But it was only because of the supports that I was able to receive. Affordable housing, childcare, and free after school programs that were funded by United Way. To create strong, thriving, resilient communities requires the removal of barriers and create a level playing field for all. United Way is asking you to be the change you want to see, to share this message with your friends, family, and colleagues. Activate this change by donating, giving your voice, and your time. Together, we can improve conditions and the lives of people in our community.